Mr. Bowtie's Texas High School Sports Machine is driven by Henry Finley and McCombs Ford West, a proud supporter of all area local sports. McCombs Ford West, simply the best. Hey folks, Mr. Bowtie here. Keep banging home that subscribe button on your screen so that way you can stay up to date on all the great local sports coverage not found on TV or in a cheap web stream. And don't forget to hit me up on Twitter at Mr. Bowtie1982. It's fast, it's free, and you're going to make my dogs think I'm the best person in the world. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. In the early part of the 20 teens, one of the top running backs in San Antonio was Justin Stockton of Cibolo Steel. In 2013, his senior year, he ran for 2,200 yards and 38 touchdowns. He had a combined 500 rushing yards and nine touchdowns against Converse Judson and Austin Westlake. The win over Westlake in 2013 by Steel, the last time anybody from San Antonio beat Westlake in football. Stockton went on to have a great career at Texas Tech, but his journey in the pros has bounced around between the NFL and some minor leagues. After taking 2022 off, he looks to rebound in 2023 in the XFL with hopes of getting back to the NFL. I had a chance to catch up with Stockton. After college in 2018, I went with the Seahawks. I was there for a little bit through preseason. Um, after that, uh, you know, it went to a little pause moment to where I had workouts with the Colts and other teams. Um, and then I ended up signing with the uh, Detroit Lions at the time for like a month on the practice squad. Um, and then after that, I went to go and play in the AAF as well as the XFL. Um, and then I was recently in Massachusetts in, in, in the indoor football league, excuse me. Um, and we won a championship. You're probably looking at the XFL in 23 when it comes back to San Antonio. CJ Cavazos, the San Antonio guy who does so much with it. And is that potentially the last chance to get to the NFL, or is it? How do you? How are you treating uh, 2023? Give it all, all I got, and uh, and just make sure that I'm still in love and, and my passion is there for it, which I know. Um, and I'm just excited because you know I, I made a sacrifice of, of sitting out this year of football um, to be with my family. Um, and I'm just excited for what God has for me and my family. And uh, the XFL, I mean, the, you know, Danny Garcia and The Rock um, and another partner that's involved with this league as well as CJ Cavazos, uh, you know, they're extraordinary people. Um, and for them to, to build something that's going to give, like myself and other players, an opportunity to go and play, um, it's a blessing. And, you know, I'm going to go out there, put everything on and, and get right. and. Uh, see what film I can have to, you know, take a shot at the NFL again. We, a lot of people don't get to see or don't hear or don't pay attention to the, they, they only hear about the romantic side of the NFL, the guys that get up there, really of pro sports guys that get up there, go to the Hall of Fame. They don't pay attention to a lot of the players that have to fight to get there. What's it like for a player like you who start in high school, start in college, and has just kind of been bouncing around trying to find that home and that opportunity in the pros? Mentally? Um, it could be a lot, uh, you know, if, if you, if you're a believer, you know, that's where your faith pl plays a part. And, uh, like I have, you know, I have a strong woman that can keep me up and, and tell me to, Hey, you know, shake out of it. You're going to be all right. Through that process, it, it can be rough on, on the mentals. Um, but you just got to stay focused and, uh, you got to continue to grind whenever it's raining, whenever it's cold, whenever it's hot. Uh, you gotta always be ready to work um, more than what you're doing. And you know, my motto is just 1% better every day. What can you do 1% better than somebody, you know, and that's how you get a step ahead of people. And not only for them, but for yourself. I know when you get to this level, it's a business and everybody's trying to make money. They're all trying to get their play, their, their, their chances, but do you still try to at least have some fun, even though maybe the XFL and the AF is not the NFL, but still, getting a chance to play football and doing what even a lot of guys that are not doing that aren't even able to get those opportunities. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm excited, you know, and how I look at it is if, if, uh, if I don't make it back to the NFL, um, you know, I know everything's gonna be good. Uh, you know, I made it even though that I'm not satisfied with that, but you know, it, it's, the chances of making it to the NFL are slim, so I'm blessed for that. Um, but you know, I'm, again, I, I love football ever since I was seven. 
um, and you know whatever opportunity comes up to, to be able to play football and, and show people that you know I'm truly gifted and I'm supposed to be playing on Sundays and Thursday. Once your football playing days are finally done, what's the what's the career path or what's going to be the next step for Justin Stockton after the football uh, career? Oh yeah, uh, right now I'm actually you know working on on a on a brand. Well, my wife and I has been working on this brand IDIFGF. Uh, for a while now, so we, we're going to continue investing in that, um, and it stands for I Do It For God and Family. Uh, and with that, you know, we're going to be able to help the community um, and, and, you know, be able to minister to, to, to the youth and to, to people around our age, you know, whether it's, you know, about marriage, whether it's about being parents at a young age. Um, and so, you know, and just things in that nature, um, and then really, you know, whatever purpose had God set out for me.